A mondegreen is a mishearing or misinterpretation of a phrase as a result of near homophony, in a way that gives it a new meaning. Mondegreens are most often created by a person listening to a poem or a song. The listener, being unable to clearly hear a lyric, substitutes words that sound similar and make some kind of sense. American writer Sylvia Wright coined the term in 1954, writing that as a girl she had misheard the lyric. Dot and laid him on the green. In a Scottish ballad as Dot and Lady Mondegreen. Mondegreen was included in the 2000 edition of the Random House Webster's College Dictionary, and in the Oxford English Dictionary in 2002. Merriam Webster's Collegiate Dictionary added the word in 2008. Examples in other languages include those cited by Fyodor Dostoevsky, in the Hebrew song, Have a Nagila. And in Bollywood films, closely related categories are Hobson Jobson, where a word from a foreign language is homophonically translated into one's own language, e.g., cockroach from Spanish cucaracha, and soramimi, a Japanese term for homophonic translation of song lyrics, an unintentionally incorrect use of similar sounding words or phrases, resulting in a changed meaning, is a malapropism. If there is a connection in meaning, it may be called an eggcorn. If a person stubbornly continues to mispronounce a word or phrase after being corrected, that person has committed a mumpsimus. Topic: Etymology. <inaudible> 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 In a 1954 essay in Harper's Magazine, Wright described how, as a young girl, she misheard the last line of the first stanza from the 17th century ballad, The Bonnie Earl O. Moray. She wrote, When I was a child, my mother used to read aloud to me from Percy's Reliques, and one of my favorite poems began, as I remember, Ye highlands and ye lowlands. Oh, where hay ye been? They hay slain the Earl O. Moray and Lady Mondegreen. The correct fourth line is, and laid him on the green. Wright explained the need for a new term. The point about what I shall hereafter call Mondegreens, since no one else has thought up a word for them, is that they are better than the original. Topic. Psychology. People are more likely to notice what they expect than things not part of their everyday experiences, this is known as confirmation bias. Similarly, one may mistake an unfamiliar stimulus for a familiar and more plausible version. For example, to consider a well-known mondegreen in the song, Purple Haze, one would be more likely to hear Jimi Hendrix singing that he is about to kiss this guy than that he is about to kiss the sky. Similarly, if a lyric uses words or phrases that the listener is unfamiliar with, they may be misheard as using more familiar terms. The creation of mondegreens may be driven in part by cognitive dissonance, as the listener finds it psychologically uncomfortable to listen to a song and not make out the words. Stephen Connor suggests that mondegreens are the result of the brain's constant attempts to make sense of the world by making assumptions to fill in the gaps when it cannot clearly determine what it is hearing. Connor sees mondegreens as the wrenchings of nonsense into sense. This dissonance will be most acute when the lyrics are in a language the listener is fluent in. On the other hand, Steven Pinker has observed that Mondegreen mishearings tend to be less plausible than the original lyrics, and that once a listener has locked in to a particular misheard interpretation of a song's lyrics, it can remain unquestioned, even when that plausibility becomes strained. Pinker gives the example of a student stubbornly mishearing the chorus to Venus. I'm your Venus as, I'm your penis, and being surprised that the song was allowed on the radio. The phenomenon may, in some cases, be triggered by people hearing, what they want to hear, 
As in the case of the song, Louis Louis, parents heard obscenities in the Kingsman recording where none existed. James Gleek claims that the Mondegreen is a distinctly modern phenomenon. Without the improved communication and language standardization brought about by radio, he believes there would have been no way to recognize and discuss this shared experience. Just as Mondegreen's transform songs based on experience, a folk song learned by repetition often is transformed over time when sung by people in a region where some of the song's references have become obscure. A classic example is The Golden Vanity which contains the line, "'As she sailed upon the lowland sea." British immigrants carried the song to Appalachia, where singers, not knowing what the term lowland sea refers to, transformed it over generations from "'lowland' to "'lonesome". Examples <laughs> 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 Topic. In songs The top three Mondegreens submitted regularly to Mondegreen expert John Carroll are Gladly, the Cross-Eyed Bear from the line in the hymn, Keep Thou My Way, by Fanny Crosby and Theodore E. Perkins, Kept by Thy Tender Care, Gladly the Cross All Bear. Carroll and many others quote it as Gladly the cross-eyed bear. They might be giants allude to this line and its mishearing in their title album's song, Hide Away, Folk Family, which contains the line, And sadly the cross-eyed bear's been put to sleep behind the stairs. There's a bathroom on the right, the line at the end of each verse of Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater Revival. There's a bad moon on the rise. Scuse me while I kiss this guy from a lyric in the song Purple Haze by the Jimi Hendrix Experience. Scuse me while I kiss the sky. Both Credence's John Fogerty and Hendrix eventually acknowledged these mishearings by deliberately singing the Mondegreen. Versions of their songs in concert, the national anthem of the United States is highly susceptible, especially for young grade school students, to the creation of Mondegreens, too, in the first line. Francis Scott Key's Star Spangled Banner begins with the line, Oh say can you see, by the dawn's early light. This has been accidentally and deliberately misinterpreted as Jose, can you see? Another example of the Hobson-Jobson effect, countless times. The second half of the line has been misheard as well, as by the Donzerly light, or other variants. This has led to many people believing that Donzerly is an authentic word. Blinded by the light. A cover of a Bruce Springsteen song by Manfred Mann's Earth Band, contains what has been called probably the most misheard lyric of all time. The phrase is, revved up like a deuce, which is altered from Springsteen's original, cut loose like a deuce. Both lyrics referring to the Hot Rodders slang deuce short for deuce coupé for a 1932 Ford coupé. The Manfred Mann version is frequently misheard as, wrapped up like a douche. Springsteen has joked about the phenomenon, claiming that it was not until Manfred Mann rewrote the song to be about a feminine hygiene product that the song became popular. A 2010 survey in Britain found that the most commonly misheard lyric was Call Me When You Try to Wake Her in REMs, The Sidewinder Sleeps Tonight, which was misheard as Calling Jamaica or Calling Cheryl Baker in the United Kingdom. Other misheard lyrics reported in the survey included See That Girl, Watch Her Scream, Kicking the Dancing Queen, from the ABBA song Dancing Queen, See That Girl, Watch That Scene, Diggin' the Dancing Queen. Rap and hip-hop lyrics may be particularly susceptible to being misheard because they do not necessarily follow standard pronunciations. 
The delivery of rap lyrics relies heavily upon an often regional pronunciation or non-traditional accenting of words and their phonemes to adhere to the artist's stylizations and the lyrics's written structure. This issue is exemplified in controversies over alleged transcription errors in Yale University Press's 2010 anthology of rap. For example, in the 2015 song Post to Be by Omarion featuring Chris Brown and Janae Iko, Iko's lyric I might have that nigga sailing his soul for me was widely misheard as selling his soul but it was really a play on the title of Iko's mixtape Sailing Souls. Topic. Standardized and recorded mondegreens Sometimes, the modified version of a lyric becomes standard, as is the case with the 12 days of Christmas. The original has four collie birds. Collie means black, cf. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Brief as the lightning in the collied night. Sometime around the turn of the 20th century, these became Calling Birds, which is the lyric used in the 1909 Frederick Austin version. A number of misheard lyrics have been recorded, turning a Mondegreen into a real title. The song, Sea Lion Woman, recorded in 1939 by Christine and Catherine Shipp, was performed by Nina Simone under the title, Sea Lion Woman. According to the liner notes from the compilation A Treasury of Library of Congress Field Recordings, the correct title of this playground song might also be See the Lion Woman or See Line Woman. Jack Lawrence's misinterpretation of the French phrase Pauvre Jean, Poor John, as the identically pronounced Pauvres Gens, Poor People led to the translation of La Guillante du Pauvre Jean, the Ballad of Poor John, as The Poor People of Paris, a hit song in 1956. In literature A Monk Swimming by author Malachi McCourt is so titled because of a childhood mishearing of a phrase from the Catholic Rosary Prayer, Hail Mary, Amongst Women, became, A Monk Swimmin, the title and plot of the short sci fi story, Come You Nigh, K Shuns, Come You Ni Ca Tions, by Lawrence A. Perkins, in Analog Science Fiction and Fact magazine April 1970, deals with securing interplanetary radio communications by encoding them with mondegreens, in Beverly Cleary's children's book, Ramona the Pest, Ramona mishears, by the dawn's early light, as, by the donzer lee light, and concludes that a, donzer, must be a kind of lamp. Olive, the other reindeer is a 1997 children's book by Vivian Walsh, which borrows its title from a mondegreen of the line, All of the Other Reindeer, in the song, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. The book was adapted into an animated Christmas special in 1999. In film A monologue of Mondegreens appears in the 1971 film Carnal Knowledge. The camera focuses on actress Candace Bergen laughing as she recounts various phrases that fooled her as a child, including, Round John Virgin, instead of, Round Yon Virgin, and, Gladly, the Cross Eyed Bear. The enigmatic title of the 2013 film Ain't Them Bodies Saints is a misheard lyric from a folk song. Director David Lowery decided to use it because it evoked the classical, regional feel of 1970s rural Texas. In television Mondegreens 
was the name of a segment on the Australian music quiz show Spicks and Specs ABC TV. Mondegreens have been used in many television advertising campaigns, including an advertisement for the 2012 Volkswagen Passat touting the car's audio system shows a number of people singing incorrect versions of the line, "Burning out his fuse up here alone." From the Elton John, Bernie Toppin song, Rocket Man, until a woman listening to the song in a Passat realizes the correct words. A 2002 advertisement for T Mobile shows spokeswoman Catherine Zeta Jones helping to correct a man who has misunderstood the chorus of Def Leppard's, Pour Some Sugar on Me, as, Pour Some Shook Up Ramen. A series of advertisements for Maxell audio cassette tapes, produced by Howell Henry Chaldicott Lurie, shown in 1989 and 1990, featured misheard versions of Israelites, e.g., Me Ears Are A Light, by Desmond Decker and Into the Valley, by the Skids as heard by users of other brands of tape. A 1987 series of advertisements for Kellogg's Nut and Honey Crunch featured a joke in which one person asks, What's for breakfast? and is told, Nut and Honey, which is misheard as Nothing, Honey. Topic. Other examples The traditional game Chinese whispers. Telephone in the United States involves mishearing a whispered sentence to produce successive mondegreens that gradually distort the original sentence as it is repeated by successive listeners. Among schoolchildren in the U.S., daily rote recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance has long provided opportunities for the genesis of mondegreens. The travel guide book series Lonely Planet is named after the misheard phrase, Lovely Planet. Sung by Joe Cocker in Matthew Moore's song Space Captain. Topic: Non-English languages. Dutch and Dutch mondegreens are popularly referred to as Mama Appelsap, Mommy Apple Juice, from the Michael Jackson song Wanna Be Startin' Something, which features the lyrics Mama say Mama sa ma ma ku sa, and was once misheard as Mama say Mama sa ma'am a Appelsap. The Dutch radio station 3FM had a show Super Radio, originally Timur Open Radio, run by Timur Perlin and Ramon with an item in which listeners were encouraged to send in mondegreens under the name Mama Appelsap. The segment was popular for years. French the title of the film La Vie en Rose depicting the life of Edith Piaf can be mistaken for La Vie en Rose. The pink airplane, the French word, la palissade, designating a gross truism or platitude, is derived from the name of Jacques II de Chabans, Seigneur de la Police, because of a misread Mondegreen in a morning song written just after his heroic death. Reading an F as a long S. Sil anatite pa mort, il ferre encore envy. If he were not dead, he would still arouse envy. Becomes. Il serre encore en vie. He would still be alive. This truism remains as the first and most well known. La palissade. In French. The title of the 1983 French novel Le Thé au Harem d'Archie Ahmed. Tea in the Harem of Archie Ahmed by Mehdi Charef and the 1985 movie of the same name is based on the main character mishearing Le Théorème d'Archimède, the theorem of Archimedes, in his mathematics class. A classic example in French is similar to the Lady Mondegreen anecdote, in his 1962 collection of children's quotes La Forêt aux Cancers, the humorist Jean Charles refers to a misunderstood lyric of La Marseillaise, the French national anthem. Entendez-vous. Mugir ces féroces soldats. 
Do you hear those savage soldiers roar? is heard as Seyfaro, CE soldat. That soldier Seyfaro. German Mundigreens are a well-known phenomenon in German, especially where often non-German songs are concerned, which are sometimes called, after two well-known examples, Agatha Bauer songs I Got the Power, a song by Snap, transferred to a German female name. Journalist Axel Hack published a series of books about them, beginning with Der Wey Neger Wumbaba, the White Negro Wumbaba. After the line Der Wey Nabel Wunderbar from Der Mond East Aufgegangen, it is at least an urban legend that children, when painting nativity scenes, occasionally include next to the child, Mary, Joseph, the shepherds and so forth yet another, laughing creature, this is the OWI, who must be depicted laughing. The reason is to be found in the line Goda's son. O oh, we locked, lieb aus deinem Gottlichen Mund God's son. Oh, how does love laugh out of thy divine mouth, from silent night? The subject is lieb, but it is a poetic contraction of Die lieb, leaving away the final e and the definite article in German, though not in English, mandatory in such a context, so the phrase is not easily understood and it might well be a statement about a person named Owi laughing in a lovable manner. The adverb lieb, although the rest of the sentence still makes no sense. O.W.I. Locked is the title of at least one book about Christmas and Christmas songs. Hebrew Hilad Zuckerman cites the Hebrew example Mukrakim Liat Sameach, we must be happy, with a grammar mistake instead of the high register Uru Akim Belev Sameach, wake up, brothers, with a happy heart, from the well known song. Have a Nagila. Let's be happy. The Israeli site dedicated to Hebrew mondegreens has coined the term Avatiach, Hebrew for watermelon, for Mondegreen, named for a common mishearing of Shlomo Artzi's award-winning 1970 song, Ahavsha. I loved her, using a form uncommon in spoken Hebrew. Polisha paper in phonology cites memoirs of poet Antony Slonimsky, who confessed that in the recited poem Conrad Wallenrod he used to hear, Zwerz Alpuhari, a beast of Alpuharas, rather than, Z Wiz Alpuhari, from the towers of Alpuharas. Portuguese The most well known Mondegreen in Brazil is in the song, Noite do Prazer. Night of Pleasure by Claudio Zoli, the line, Na madrugada a vitrola Rolando um blues, tocando bb king sem parer. At dawn, the phonograph playing a blues, playing bb king non stop, is often misheard as, Na madrugada a vitrola Rolando um blues, trocando de bikini sem parer. At dawn the phonograph playing a blues, people are exchanging bikini non-stop. Russian Russian author Fyodor Dostoevsky, in 1875, cited a line from Fyodor Glinka's song, Troika, 1825, Kolokolchik dar Valda, the bell, gift of Valde, claiming that it is usually understood as Kolokolchik Darvalda, the bell Darvaldaying. Supposedly an onomatopoeia of ringing. Topic: Reverse Mondegreen. A reverse mondegreen is the intentional production, in speech or writing, of words or phrases that seem to be gibberish but disguise meaning. A prominent example is Merzi Dotes, a 1943 novelty song by Milton Drake, Al Hoffman, and Jerry Livingston. The lyrics are a reverse mondegreen, made up of oronyms, so pronounced and written as to challenge the listener or reader to interpret them. Merzi Dotes and Dozy Dotes and Little Lamsey Divey. A kidly divey too, wouldn't you? The clue to the meaning is contained in the bridge. If the words sound queer and funny to your ear, a little bit jumbled and jivey, sing, 
Mares eat oats and does eat oats and little lambs eat ivy. With that clue, the listener can figure out that the last line is, A kittle eat ivy, too, wouldn't you? Other examples include Iron Butterfly's 1968 hit, In a Gata da Vida, a reverse Mondegreen of the phrase, In the Garden of Eden, which, according to liner notes, was going to be the song's title. Sly and the Family Stone's 1970 hit, Thank you, for letting me be mice elf again, in which the part after thank you is an obvious reverse Mondegreen for, for letting me be myself again. In the 1945 comedy mystery film Murder, he says, an unknowing character repeats a sing-song rhyming reverse Mondegreen that contains a clue to finding keys that will lead to some lost money. Honors fleezies, income beezies, onches nobbies, inab keezies. On horse fleas as, in comb bees as, on chest knob as, in knob keys as. In his Anguish Language English language, Howard L. Chase uses standard English words in non-standard order to create reverse mondegreens that refer to familiar things and stories. It includes the widely known story. Ladle Rat Rotten Hut, Little Red Riding Hood. Many songs by Animal Collective feature reverse mondegreens in their titles, including Mouth Wooed Her, Mouth Water, Seal Eyeing, Sea Lion, and Brother Sport, Brother Support. The title of Sophie's 2018 album Oil of Every Pearl's Uninsides is a reverse mondegreen of the sentence, I love every person's insides. Topic. Deliberate mondegreen Two authors have written books of supposed foreign language poetry that are actually mondegreens of nursery rhymes in English. Louis van Ruten's pseudo-French mot d'urs, Gousses, Rames includes critical, historical, and interpretive apparatus, as does John Holmes' mortar Gus Rantz, attributed to a fictitious German poet. Both titles sound like the phrase, Mother Goose Rhymes. Both works can also be considered soramimi, which produces different meanings when interpreted in another language. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart produced a similar effect in his canon, Difficile Lexu, written c. 1786 to 87, when he was 30 or 31, which, though ostensibly in Latin, is actually an opportunity for scatological humor in both German and Italian. Some performers and writers have used deliberate mondegreens to create double entendres. The phrase "If you see K." F-U-C-K has been employed many times, notably as a line from James Joyce's 1922 novel Ulysses and in many songs, including by blues pianist Memphis Slim in 1963, R. Stevie Moore in 1977, April Wine on its 1982 album Power Play, The Poster Children via their Daisy Chain Reaction in 1991, Turbo Negro in 2005, Aerosmith in Devils Got a New Disguise", in 2006, and the script in their 2008 song, If You See K. Britney Spears did the same thing with the song, If You Seek Amy. A similar effect was created in Hindi in the 2011 Bollywood movie Delhi Belly in the song, Bog D. K. Bows. While, D. K. Bows. Appears to be a person's name, it is sung repeatedly in the chorus to form the deliberate mondegreen, Basadi K. Hindi, Basadi K, a Hindi expletive. Mondegreen is a song by Yesayer on their 2010 album, Odd Blood. The lyrics are intentionally obscure, for instance, Everybody sugar in my bed, and Perhaps the pollen in the air turns us into a stapler and spoken hastily to encourage the Mondegreen effect. Topic. See also
Topic Notes and References Notes Citations Topic Further reading Connor, Stephen. Earslips, of Mishearings and Mondegreens, 2009. 1. Edwards, Gavin. Scuse me while I kiss this guy, 1995. ISBN 0 671 50128 3. Edwards, Gavin. When a Man Loves a Walnut, 1997. ISBN 0 684 84567 9. Edwards, Gavin. He's Got the Whole World in His Pants, 1996. ISBN 0 684 82509 0. Edwards, Gavin. Deck the Halls with Buddy Holly, 1998. ISBN 0 06 09 Gwyn, Fred. Chocolate Mousse for Dinner, 1988. ISBN 0 671 66741 6. Norman, Philip. Your Walrus Hurt the One You Love Malapropisms, Mispronunciations, and Linguistic Cock Ups, 1988. ISBN 978-0-333-47337-5 Topic. External links Snopes.com. The Lady and the Mondegreen. Misheard Christmas Songs. Pamela Lacauzy O'Connell. Sweet Slips of the Ear, Mondegreens. New York Times, 9 April 1998. Video of Top 10 Misheard Lyrics from WatchMojo.com, focuses on pop music Mondegreens.